This conference is being organized by the International Food Policy Research Institute in conjunction with the African Union Commission and then the Economic Commission for Africa. We also have um, allied institutes like um, uh, the Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa uh, and then the others. But in IFPRI itself, the RICSAX program, the Regional Strategic Analysis and Knowledge Support System, is also teaming up with um, us to do this because for 2011, they have productivity as their focus. So we are all teaming up to organize this, this conference. The interest to bring in the African Union is the fact that the African Union has several frameworks, frameworks on pastoralism, framework on land, framework on this, on that. And then plus the fact that the whole CADIC process is being shepherded by, um, by um, the African Union Commission. So we need to do some things with them. And IFPRI also has an MOU with the African Union Commission, and this is why we have brought them in. The Economic Commission for Africa leads the economic development for the African continent, and agriculture is part of it. And we are in particular working with the Department of Sustainable Development and Food Security to work with them in this sense so that um, we can move to have a um, um, sustainable increase in African productivity and then improve um, food security. So that's why this organization, we, three of us have come together, plus others which are also supporting us. And then all of these farmer organizations in Africa, we are also bringing them on board because without farmer organizations, it is difficult even to get technology to move on and then get things going. Um, FARA has come on board because FARA is the Pillar Institute for uh, CADIP Pillar 4. And you know, CADIP is the framework for African agriculture development uh, program. And we will, everything that happens in African agriculture has to be done under the obsessions of, uh, of CADIP. And this is why we want to bring in um, FARA to move on with us. Our motivation to have this conference is the fact that um, over the last um, five to maybe almost 10 years, African agriculture has been improving. Um, the, in general, the economies of African countries have been doing very well. Um, at about an average of about 5% growth. Agriculture has been growing at about 2 to 4% um, in many countries. In some countries, it has even been growing up to about 10%. This is very, very good. But we see that um, there is a large potential that exists that has not been exploited. Um, this has happened because when we look at the yield gap, the yield gap is also still very large. For instance, um, for maize, um, some countries you can get about four tons per hectare, uh, even six to eight tons per hectare. But um, in many African countries, they are getting less than one ton per hectare. Um, it happens also for rice, it happens for wheat. Cassava, you can get about 25 tons per hectare. People are getting about seven to 10 tons per hectare. This means that the yield gap is still very huge. So we need to find ways and means to exploit the situation and see how we can close the yield gap. And if we're able to do that, and productivity increases and production increases, it means that um, people can feed better, we can improve food security, and people's incomes will also increase. In fact, we have to add on marketing. If they just produce and they can't market their goods, they will not be able to make the profits. So, um, in, in terms of increasing their productivity, we need also to make sure that markets, we are linking them to markets to be able to come up. And that gives us, um, we ha then have to look at how to, uh, to be able to do that. There are several things that are affecting African agriculture productivity. For instance, issues about land and water, issues about um, disease and health, issues about nutrition itself, issues about climate change, issues about um, how to develop the value chain itself so that it's not just on-farm production, but how to produce from the farm and then do all the processes post-farm to reduce post-farm um, post um, losses. Because in Africa, um, post-harvest um, post losses range between about 10 to about 30%. And if we produce so much and we just lose them, <clears throat> it doesn't get to the market, it doesn't get to people's plates. So what are we doing? So we need to find ways and means to make sure that the on-farm production is doing well <clears throat> and then the post-farm production are also doing very well. This means we need to also look at pre-farm. There are all kinds of services that provide um, the, the things that the farmers need. 
like fertilizer, like good seed, like the water that I talked about. All of these things are pre farm things. We need to make sure that the rural service provisions are working well uh, to be able to do that. But how to link, or link them all together, it means that we need to have our institutions to work well. Uh, farm organizations, uh, policies, and all kinds of things. We need to make sure that all of these things are hooked on properly to work well. Because the major thing we have seen in Africa is uh, weak institutions. And we need to see how we can build these institutions to be able to move forward. And as I said, we want to have evidence-based um, opportunities. And how have other people done it? We want to have papers also from even outside Africa to see, for instance, in Asia, how are they doing it? From Latin America, how are they doing it? Even from Europe, how has Europe tackled some of these issues? So it's not only papers on Africa, but papers from other places so that we can learn. But I want to emphasize that it should be evidence-based. How have people done it? How can we learn from good examples, good practices to get to um, the best that we can do for Africa? We will have an opening session um, where the, we hope the APRI Director General and um, say Farah Executive Secretary and a few other people from the African Union Commission and then the Economic Commission for Africa will be there at the opening session. And then we'll go into the scientific um, sessions. We will have some plenary sessions and then we'll have some breakout sessions. We have a number of abstracts that have come in and there are about 10 sub-themes that we have devised. And so the papers will be divided among the sub-themes and then we will have um, breakout groups to discuss some of these papers. Then there will also be um, um, sessions where we will bring in people to discuss issues. So these will be panel discussions. So we have one or two people to speak on the topic with the moderator who will be moderating the, the session. So these are the way that we want to organize um, um, the, the session. We are expecting quite a number of people from African countries, um, researchers, policy makers, um, we will also like to have um, some politicians to come. We will also would like to have some donors from the region. And then also um, IFPRI staff who have done an, uh, some work on uh, productivity so that the research, I mean the conference will be evidence-based. We don't want people just to come and talk about um, uh, what are the causes and whatever. Most of the causes we know, what we don't know is how to remedy the situation. So we would like to really emphasize a lot on the opportunities that are available. So we want to see people who have done work in the area and many of the free staff have done some work, especially those working in the country support programs to be able to come. But also people from the NALS, the National Agricultural Research Systems, so that they can come and showcase some of the work that they have done. We also would like to have people from the um, farm organizations um, so that they will come and talk about some of the problems that they have and how they have addressed these problems in terms of um, getting productivity to increase. And then we also want to have some farmers, farmers who are practitioners on the ground and also people who are working in the value chain um, like um, processors, transporters, um, storers and people like that also to come. And then also uh, analysts who do the day-to-day -day work um, trying to get numbers together to see how um, productivity is impacting on people's poverty or people's um, nutrition. So these are the people that we want to engage.